My wife and I have been married for 21 years now. Um, our 20th anniversary, we went on a cruise in the Caribbean. My 21st anniversary, I just got out of the hospital. Uh, so for, I would joke for better or worse, and we had the better and the worse that two years. Um, we have five kids, uh, senior in high school, freshman in high school, um, sixth grader, fifth grader, and a kindergartner. I have for the last few years gone for an annual physical with my doctor. I thought this one would be no big deal because there wasn't anything big on the horizon and he was doing his regular old physical exam and he was listening to my right lung and then my left and then my right and my left and I'm like, oh boy, something's not right here. So he uh, said that he had heard some bowel sounds in my chest which shouldn't be there and uh, sent me for a chest x-ray and uh, found a hole in my diaphragm and subsequently got a CAT scan and then started looking for some place to have surgery. From the day I had my surgery until I left uh, Butterworth to go to the Center for Acute Rehab 30 some days later, I don't think Julie had been back home. Um, the second day that I was in rehab, she finally felt comfortable enough with the staff and with my um, status to go home, but she was welcomed in all the therapies. She participated in the physical therapy. She participated in the occupational therapy. Um, the staff kept her well informed of what I was doing and how I was doing, and she has as high a praise for the staff as I do, and she's, she felt like they were family for the 12 days that we were there. I was discharged from, on April 27th from the Center for Acute Rehab. It was significant because April 28th was my daughter's, sorry, <laughs> April 28th was Allison's junior senior banquet and uh, it was a big goal to get home by that time. Um, we made it April 28th, I was in the park with her, we took some great pictures and she went off to her banquet and that was, that was a goal of my rehab. I subsequently did my outpatient rehab. I did 29 visits here with Barb and Kristen in occupational and physical therapy. By August, I was back to working full time um, through just the continued physical therapy and the exercises that Barb had given me to do. Rebuilt my strength. Um, I'm stronger now than I was before my surgery. Um, can still do three or four thyroid surgeries in a day without without an issue, but. It's a long transition from picking little toys out of a box of rice to safely putting an ear tube in a little child's ear, but I'm 100% convinced that through that occupational therapy that that's why I can do that now. Because of Spectrum Health Continuing Care, I am able to return to a full-time occupation of being an ear, nose, and throat physician, providing quality care to my patients all the way from medical to surgical treatment. But more importantly to me, it restored my ability to be my kid's dad and my, my wife's husband and uh, those roles that I couldn't do for a month and a half.